Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about optimizing the sub-items of your object, otherwise known as the individual elements. So in the previous tutorial we talked about how to uh, optimize the wearables of your character, which is everything your character is wearing, such as clothing, accessories, and, and the hair on your character as well, as well as uh, optimizing individual objects, such as uh, individual clothing items and accessories and so on and so forth. So in this tutorial, we're going to dig a little bit deeper going into the elements of each individual accessory or clothing item. And we're going to focus on the satchel around our character's waist. So in the previous tutorial, you can see we already reduced a couple things here uh, for the you know, all the wearable items on our character uh, by certain percentages and, and face numbers and everything like that. So we're going to focus on this item here, which is called strips, which is actually the name for this uh, waist satchel here, whatever you want to call it, okay? Uh, if you want to find that in your content manager, you can go to the content manager tab uh, under clothing and under the other section down here, uh, the others folder, there's a subfolder called Huntress and you'll find the strip right here. You can just double click and apply it to your character. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to reduce by elements. So there's two separate elements on this uh, waist satchel here, the metallic parts and the uh, leather parts. Actually, the leather parts are separated into sub elements as well we'll talk about that in just a moment so if you want to reduce the uh optimize by elements there's three ways you can access that the first way is to go to modify panel polygon reduction and polygon reduction by element right here you can also access it from the toolbar insta lod polygon reduction element right here and finally down here in the modify panel under attributes you can go to uh, polygon reduction by element right here okay so let's go ahead and select that uh, by element, and you can see that it'll put a little uh, wireframe on our uh, prop right here, our accessory rather. And once we have the polygon reduction elements window open, we can select individual elements on our prop, okay, or on our accessory, okay. You can see I'm selecting individual elements. I can select this metallic part. You can see it right there being selected individually, okay, just like this, and so on and so forth. If you want to select more than one uh, element together, then you can just hold the control key and click all of them. So in this case, I'm going to hold the control and click all of the uh, leather elements, okay, of my accessory right here. So you can see we've selected all of the leather elements, red selection, and we're going to reduce those to 50% of the original uh, poly count. So you can see the poly count right now is uh, selected triangle, 10,708 polys, okay, or triangles rather, okay. So let's go ahead and apply that. It's going to reduce it to somewhere around, uh, you know, 7,000 right there. Okay, it's just, so it kind of tries to keep the original shape. And you can see the polygon reduction. If we go to the scene manager over here, uh, again, you can see the uh, suffix, the naming convention here, percentage 50, right? And here's the original uh, submesh. So the selected triangle will change according to which one we have enabled. Okay, 7,000, 10,000, okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can, you know, reduce two elements, uh, basically the selected elements and the unselected elements simultaneously, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and select the original uh, strips mesh here, okay, 10,708. And we're going to reduce the, uh, I'm going to just, again, I'm going to click on all the metallic items right here, okay? So this little button right here, control, click all the different buttons. This uh, so one here... We have a couple on this side, I believe. Oops. There we go. Right there. This one. A lot of stuff to select individually here for the metallic parts of our uh, satchel there. Okay, so you can see it's separated into quite small groupings here. Control click on these two here as well. Okay, so I think we've selected all the metallic stuff. Okay, so with all the metallic stuff selected, we can reduce the metallic stuff maybe by uh, percentage. Let's reduce it to 90% of the original count, okay? We don't need to reduce that metallic stuff too much because it doesn't really consist of a lot of polygons. Um, so that's going to be reduced to 90% of the original. And we also have the option now to select unselected elements, okay? So which is all the other stuff in our entire accessory. So all the leather items that I didn't select previously. Okay, and this time we can uh, reduce those. Let's maybe take it to face count 3,000, okay? So what's going to happen is it's going to reduce our metallic elements to 90% of the original, and it's going to reduce the face count of the leather 
sections or the leather elements to uh, 3000 face count simultaneously. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply that. And once that's finished, you'll see it'll add another item into our uh, scene manager here called strips selected percentage 90. Okay. And so we have the original 51, which is 7,400 again. If we enable the 91, which is the one we just did, it goes down to 6,734. Not a huge reduction, but I just wanted to show you the option that you have for simultaneously reducing unselected elements by a different amount than the elements that you have selected. So that's really about all there is for this tutorial, guys. You can see the final results here, the 10,708 versus 6,734 uh, poly count there, and a fairly... Uh, minimal reduction in quality if noticeable at all and yeah so again that's about it thanks so much for watching hopefully you learned a lot uh i'm sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com when you get a chance and i hope to see you in the next video